In this video, I'll show you how to restore your NVIDIA Shield TV launcher to the default launcher using a Mac computer. In my last video, I showed you how to replace the default launcher with a custom launcher. Now I'll show you how to restore it back to the original. Let's get started. First, we'll need to turn on developer options to turn on network debugging. So go to settings on the top right corner. Go down to device preferences. Go to about. Go down to build. And press this seven times. Go back and go down to developer options. And go down and make sure network debugging is turned on. And write down the full IP address. Now on your Mac, you need to download the SDK platform tools. I'll have the link in the description box. Scroll down and download SDK Platform Tools for Mac. Scroll down, accept the terms, and download the file. Double click the download the file to extract it. And you should see a folder called Platform Tools. Move this to your desktop if it's not already there. This is important. You could just drag and drop the folder to your desktop. Now open terminal. The easiest way to do this is just hit the search icon on the top right corner and search for terminal. Now we're gonna copy a few lines of code into terminal. I'll have the codes in the description box. The first one will change the directory to the platform tools folder. So copy and paste the first code and change username to the username of your Mac. Your username should be displayed inside terminal, followed by a dollar sign. My username is MacBook. Now hit enter. Now copy and paste the second line of code, followed by the full IP address we copied down earlier. And hit enter. You should see a failure to authenticate message. Go back to your NVIDIA Shield TV and you should see a pop-up. Hit OK to allow network debugging. Now copy and paste the second line of code again followed by the IP address and hit enter. It should say we're connected. Now we just need to copy and paste four lines of code to re-enable the default launcher. So copy and paste the third line of code and hit enter. Copy and paste the fourth line of code and hit enter. Copy and paste the fifth line of code and hit enter. And finally, copy and paste the sixth line of code and hit enter. And that's it. The default launcher should have automatically appeared or you may need to hit the home button and it should show the default launcher. I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.